I was talking to uh, Jeffrey, Jeff, <coughs> excuse me, in Messenger about a scenario that he has with his autoresponder, and I have a solution, and maybe I can talk faster this time. <laughs> Uh, but I wanted to share it with everybody because it's very appropriate in certain scenarios. So the question was, uh, can I tag somebody in my autoresponder with UpViral if they get a referral? And so the answer to that is yes, but, with a big kind of but, with a caveat about the whole, the way UpViral works and counts points. So... In certain scenarios, yes, you can send a tag over to an autoresponder if you get a referral. But the first question is, are you doing rewards? Do you have any rewards set such that at a certain point level, then somebody gets XYZ? In which case, you can stop watching because this doesn't apply to you. Uh, and technically, I think custom actions messes this whole thing up if you're using custom actions. It all depends upon your points settings and let me dive into that all right so we're going to switch over to my desktop and let me not show that part of my desktop and show you this campaign that i have working with and um points so the way this scenario is set up i have points for signups and referrals uh, and that's typical. I'm doing one point for direct signup, one for referred, zero, and then 20 for a referred lead. And somehow I made the screen big. Uh, and I have three points for LinkedIn, Twitter, etc. Now, if you're doing five points for each one of those things, then you potentially have a problem because there are, uh, as I count, seven of those options right now. Uh, and even this could potentially be a problem because uh, I have it set at 20. So if somebody earns all of those and they would have to be on a smartphone because WhatsApp and Messenger don't have that happen. But so so if if nobody does any sharing, they could do one point for signing themselves up and 20 points for a referred lead. Right. So that would give them a total of 21 points. And if you set a reward at that level, then you would theoretically know that somebody has gotten a referral. Now, obviously, if they if they earn all of the points plus the one point for sign up, all of the social sharing points, then they'd be at 22. So that kind of messes some of this up. But if we make the assumption that uh, maybe you don't have WhatsApp or I, I probably would say turn Google Plus off because nobody's using Google Plus at all anymore. So that gets you to, what, 19, 18 points for all of the social sharing plus one point. So you're at 19. So we're perfect. All right, so if you go into rewards and set the rewards up, let me also show you, by the way, uh, if you go into the email autoresponder, and I'm going to make this full screen... Uh, it, I'm using Active Campaign, which does tagging, by the way. And so you can set tags, right? But by default, there are no rewards. At this point, there's nothing down here at the bottom for rewards. So if I go back over to the rewards section and I do add a reward, and let's say this is just, uh, we'll call it first, and I can't type and talk at the same time. First, referral. And we set this at 21 points, and we set the other the reward type to other. Doesn't require any additional settings. You can use this reward time if you simply want to trigger an email automate uh, <laughs> an email notification, for example, or a trigger to send over to the autoresponder. So if I click save and think about it for a minute, <laughs> there it goes. Um, now, if you go, let's jump over to email notifications. You certainly don't want to, well, maybe you do. You might want to tell them uh, that they got a reward. You, you, you definitely want to send them an email when somebody signs up through a referral link. 
but this one, if you send an email when the first referral is unlocked, eh, you may not want to send that. You might want to turn that off. Uh, but if we go over, and I didn't do save, so that's okay. Uh, but you would normally do save. If we look at the email autoresponder and I scroll down to the bottom, notice there's a tag section now. So first re referral, I could do a tag over to my autoresponder that said earned a referral. I cannot type. <laughs> E-R-A-L. -E -E uh, two R's, right? Referral. I can't type. Forgive me, please. Uh, but you would save that, and therefore, anytime somebody got to the right number of points, and again, there's the caveat of the um, custom actions being a problem, right? So if we go back to uh, the points, for example, in this particular campaign that I was testing, I didn't scroll down, but I have custom actions, right? So if if they follow on Twitter, then that's 20 points, and bingo, bango, now you got a problem with the referral getting, or the reward getting triggered based on the fact that they got to 20 points for following on Twitter uh, and the initial sign-up. So that's 21 points right there. So the custom actions kind of throw that whole thing out of whack. Now, uh but it does work if you don't have any custom actions and you just have your normal default settings for points. Now, what what I'm encouraging, if, if Wilco is listening, hello, Wilco! Uh, what I really would love to see is that the rewards, uh, if I click on add a reward, for example, what I think needs to happen is that there needs to be some extra actions here. For example, there's points, right? We want to reward on points, which is great. The old system was perfect for doing that. But now that we have custom actions and we have re we have referrals, uh, I think what needs to happen is that the rewards would have an option here that says trigger this only when somebody gets a referral. Or trigger this when somebody gets five referrals because the custom action points now totally mess up the ability to be able to see uh we were we were tricking the system by figuring out people got x number of rewards i'm sorry x number of referrals purely based on the points uh, and i would also like to see one that says uh, select, uh, give a reward when per somebody performs a certain action. Uh, so maybe you give a discount coupon if they click a certain action, right? So if they do a custom action and get the points for it, then maybe this would be single-use coupon code gets sent to them because they earned that reward by doing that custom action. Anyway, so I got really kind of way off convoluted, way off into the woods there in terms of the points. But hopefully that answers the question about whether or not you can send a tag. And of course, you can still send tags on rewards uh, and, and be able to have in your automated or your auto responder to know when certain people earn certain rewards. That's still great. Uh, but this was kind of a little bit of a kludge for the scenario where there were no rewards and no custom actions. And uh, Jeff wanted to be able to tag people in his autoresponder when they earned that first referral. So long-winded, there you go. There's your answer. And I hope that makes sense.